Solar by Green Greg here, and today we're going to talk about the Franklin WH battery review. We'll talk about Franklin and who they are. We'll talk about the specs, the monitoring app, installation pictures, and frequently asked questions. So let's get into it. So about Franklin WH battery, they're headquartered in San Jose, California. It started in 2019. They're funded by Sequoia Capital, which is a VC firm, and 70% of its employees are R&D. Now to the Franklin WH battery, there's two main components. There's a Franklin WH A-Gate X, which is basically a controller, and there's a Franklin WH A-Power battery. So the A-Gate X controller, this includes a transfer switch, smart circuits, so you can do scheduled or manual load shedding, generator integration is an option, and you could put up to 15 batteries per A-Gate. Now you see the dimensions here, <clears throat> it's about 21.7 inches wide by about 31 and a half inches tall, and about 6.3 inches thick. So it's very compact. It could hang on a garage wall or can be outside. The switch over time, by the way, is 16 milliseconds. So this is quick enough to where you won't have to reset, you know, digital clocks and so on. There is a user interface app and the communications is either Ethernet, 4G or Wi-Fi. And here's the Franklin A Power battery spec sheet. Starting with the dimensions, it's 29 and a half inches wide by a little bit over 45 inches tall and 11.4 inches thick. So the thing I look for in a battery is the width is most important because a lot of times when you're mounting a battery, for instance, on a garage wall, um, usually there's some windows or doors nearby or other obstructions and so usually the width is the hardest part. Usually the height is not a problem, it's the width. So having a narrower battery um, is more favorable. And at 11.4 inches thick, again it doesn't stick out too much uh, from the garage uh, wall. Now you can also mount these in a basement or outside by the way. It is an AC coupled system, and I'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. The battery chemistry is a lithium iron phosphate, or LFP. This is a very good chemistry. A lot of the newer batteries are LFP because it does not have the problems that lithium ion has with thermal runaway, which basically means the battery gets overheated and could possibly cause a fire. That's what happens with lithium ion. So a lithium iron uh, phosphate battery doesn't have uh, as much of a problem with thermal runaway. The Franklin battery capacity is 13.6 kilowatt hours per unit. That's usable power. And you can stack up to 15 units. The warranty is 12 years, 43 megawatt hours and the AC voltage is 120 and 240. So in other words, a single phase or split phase. This is a residential battery. The maximum continuous power is 5 kW. The peak power for 10 seconds is 10 kW. And so here's some installation pictures. As you can see, we have some that are outside. We have a couple here there in the garage. You notice this lower right one, what I was saying is, Hey, these units are compact enough where they can fit around some tight spaces. Hey, if you're finding this information helpful so far, hey, go ahead, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the next video. And also, it helps YouTube know that this content is valuable and shows it to more homeowners just like you. So I can help them also. Thank you so much. So I mentioned that the Franklin battery is AC coupled. Let me explain what that means. So in this top left here, you'll notice solar panels, they're DC. They produce DC power. 
It has to be converted over to AC power so our home could use it and so it would be fed back to the grid, right? So we have to have an inverter that does that conversion from DC to AC. Now, sometimes there's an inverter on in the back of the panel, if it's a microinverter, or it could be an inverter that's a big box that either sits in a garage or on the side of the house near the meter. But either way, there has to be an inverter. This inverter then goes back, in this case we have a controller, which then goes back to the utility meter and the main panel. Um, now, if we did not have this controller here, it would just, again, go to the either utility meter or the main panel. So, as far as the Franklin battery, it's actually an inverter and a battery in one box. So, let me explain. Batteries are also DC power. Again, it has to be converted over to AC power so the home can use the electric in the battery. And also, to charge the battery, the AC needs to convert it back to DC so the battery can accept the power of the charge. So there's actually an inverter inside this uh, battery box as well. And that's what we call AC couple, which means, hey, the battery has its own inverter and the solar has its own inverter. Now, you may have heard of a DC coupled system, um, or sometimes they call it a hybrid inverter. In those type of systems, instead of having two different inverters, there's one inverter that handles the conversion for both the solar panels and the battery. There are some advantages to that. Those are more efficient and uh, less power loss to heat. However, um, the AC coupled battery has the advantage of you can add it to any solar system. You don't have to have a battery ready inverter. And so uh, for this reason, the AC coupled uh, battery systems are becoming more popular. So just get flexibility. There are a lot of people who previously bought a solar system and they're just looking to add a battery on and that's where AC coupled shines. There might be some other reasons for using an AC coupled system as well but that's the main one is that flexibility to add it on to any system. The Franklin Home Power System, FHP, manages your solar, the battery system, and the loads in your home. You can decide what time you want to run your EV charger, for instance, whether or not you want to run your pool pump, etc., etc. Of course, in case of a power outage, yes, your batteries can run your home. And if your batteries run too low from a long power outage, it can be charged with a generator. That way you can run your home at night while you're sleeping without listening to a noisy generator. You can do load shedding, such as turning off the pool pump or non-essentials as well. Now, here is the FHP app. And on this app, you can see in the center circle how much the home consumed, how much was produced by solar, the grid, and the FHP. And then here's a time history chart. You can see when the solar produced, when the FHP was charged, and the home electric use and what time the home used the FHP or the grid power. So you can manage your power and avoid the high cost time of use rate times with this app. So the Franklin WH app, it's available on iOS and Android. There's generator management, including charging the battery and what they call black start. This is where, hey, if your state of charge on the battery gets too low, well, your solar system actually needs a little bit of charge to get the inverters going. So in this case, the Franklin allows you to charge your battery up enough so that way the solar system can operate. That could happen if you have an extended long power outage. So it's a very good feature to have. There also is a storm setting. So it is connected to the National Weather Service, your local weather station, and if there's a forecast of a storm coming in, the FHP can automatically make sure your battery is fully charged 24 hours before that storm, before it sends any power back to the electric grid. There also is a state of charge and duration. So this lets you know how much charge is left in the battery and based on the items you're currently running, how much time you can run those loads for. 
And so this allows you to be intelligent and decide if you want to turn off certain non-essential items to save electricity and longer your duration. And there's load shedding, which means you can actually turn off certain items directly from the Franklin app, such as a pool pump, for instance. You can set it up also for self-consumption and time of use settings. And again, FHP is a whole home energy management system. It manages the status of your solar PV, the generator, the battery, and the utility grid, as well as the EV. And it doesn't matter if these items are different brands. All those items can be managed with this one Franklin app. Which Having is an all-in-one cohesive app is a convenience and also allows you to make intelligent decisions easily to manage your electricity. So let's answer some uh, Franklin WH questions. Can Franklin run an air conditioner or heat pump? If it's a mini split air conditioner, most likely yes, those are highly efficient. If it's a central air conditioner or heat pump, you may need more than one Franklin WH, depending on the efficiency and the LRA rating. But basically, the higher the efficiency the uh, heat pump or air conditioner is, um, the less battery power you will need uh, to run that unit. But every unit is different, so you have to have your installer look at the unit and then calculate how many Franklin batteries you need. And by the way, keep in mind that most people don't just want to run their air conditioner or heat pump. They also want to run lights. They want to run the internet, the TV, etc. So you have to count for that as well. What brands of solar inverters can be used with the Franklin battery? Most brands of home inverters can be used. I can't think of one that can't be because, again, it's AC coupled. So, um, yeah, it's compatible with any home inverter. Can the Franklin WH work off-grid? Yes, it can work both on-grid and off-grid. What is the Franklin WH battery warranty? It's 12 years from installation date. The initial capacity is 13.6 kilowatt hours at installation, and it's rated at 70% capacity for 12 years or 43 megawatt hours. So just kind of keep in mind, batteries, like everything else, does wear out. The way batteries wear out is they lose capacity over time. Um, this warranty, by the way, is actually better than a lot of other companies. Most other companies are a 60% capacity and they're 10 years. So this is actually a very good warranty. So I hope you found this video helpful. Solar by Green Greg here. And on this channel, we cover home solar PV and battery, solar pool heating, and energy efficiency. And I do it all without any sales talk. You know, I'm a homeowner just like you, and I know how it is. You know, sometimes you're just trying to do some light troubleshooting or just get some honest information. If that's you, you just want information, hey, you're in the right spot. Go ahead, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much, and we'll see you in the next video.